You guys see this shit? They changed the label. I mean, it says inspired by the original packaging, but call me paranoid. When labels change, I get nervous because it usually means what's inside the bottle has changed too. It could be my imagination, but this doesn't taste as good as I remember. Smash like if you want Sierra Nevada to go back to the old label. Thus begins my eighth week making these silly videos. My eighth week. Whilst cleaning the infamous liquor wall, I found a mini that you can also not get here, which makes this a crossover episode. Let's check it out. A lot of familiar smells, cinnamon, toffee, a little bit more alcohol burn than I expected. It's good if a little bit on the sweet side. I would definitely classify this as rum I would put on pancakes. This makes me either want to go old fashioned or daiquiri, and since after tasting it, I'm only gonna have an ounce and a half, I think a daiquiri is the way to go. I'll be right back. My dac. Much better. Because I only had one and a half ounces of rum to work with, I had to play with the specs a little bit, but this did give me an opportunity to use one of my favorite secret tricks in making daiquiris, which is instead of using simple syrup, do a bar spoon or two of super fine sugar, which gives a drink kind of a velvety, sherbety texture. If you've never had a daiquiri like this, you absolutely have to try it. It's wonderful. Again, after having multiple expressions of Havana Club, this is a bit of a letdown, but it did give me an idea for a better video. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.